Okay, class. Who can solve the problem? How about... I know. Julia. Samantha. Hey, Julia. My birthday party's coming up in a couple weeks at Giuliani's. Will you come? I know you're still new here, but you haven't come to any school events yet. You have to come to this one. Yeah, it's gonna be so fun. Are there gonna be a lot of people there? Yeah, pretty much the whole class. If you don't come, you'll be the only one not there. I'll think about it. See ya. That was weird. I think she has really bad anxiety. That's probably why she never goes anywhere. No. I feel so bad for her. Why doesn't she just talk to someone about it? Julia, what are you doing in bed? It's 4 p.m. Just leave me alone, please. Come on. Let's get out of the house. What do you say we go get some ice cream? No, I don't want to. You know, when I was your age, I'd always be hanging with my friends after school. You couldn't drag me home. Yet here you are, laying in bed, missing out on everything all by yourself. Please just leave me alone. Can you at least please tell me what's going on with you? I already told you. I get really bad anxiety around people. Anxiety. There you go with that again. What could you possibly be anxious about? You just don't understand. See, this is the problem with your generation. You have no real problems to worry about, yet you just have to create some kind of- Please just get out of my room. This is unbelievable. Oh, look, you've been invited to a birthday party, but I bet you're not even gonna go again. No. I'm not going. Now please, just get out of my room. I don't get it. What are you so scared of? Are you gonna answer? Oh, here we go again. Julia, open this door right now. This is ridiculous. Hey, what's going on? Is everything okay? Uh, no. Julia has locked herself in her bathroom once again and is not coming out. Please just leave me alone. Oh no, what happened? Oh, apparently she's dealing with anxiety as if that's a real thing. It's very real. A lot of kids suffer from it. What are you talking about? When I was a kid, we didn't even have such things. Sweetheart, can I come in please? I don't want to talk to anyone right now. I just want to be by myself. Oh no. I feel so bad for her. She must be 
going through so much right now. You're joking, right? She doesn't have to worry about the rent or the electricity. She doesn't even have to put food on the table. What in the world could she be so anxious about? Roger, I don't think you understand how anxiety works. <sighs> oh, really? And what makes you such an expert? Because I went through it. Okay? That's how I know. What? You didn't tell me this. Sometimes you're not the easiest guy to talk to. That's why I never told you. Mom? You had anxiety too? Hey. Yeah. I never told anybody. Just my therapist. You see... When I was a young girl, I was always laughing and smiling. I was probably one of the most popular girls in school. But then, out of nowhere, my dad got a new job and we all had to move across the country. I begged my parents to let me stay, but they wouldn't listen. Suddenly, I found myself as the new kid in school. Everyone already had their friend groups, and I felt like such an outcast. I was too nervous to talk to anyone, so I would eat lunch all by myself. And that's when my anxiety started. Suddenly, I found myself scared to raise my hand in class. I'd create these imaginary situations in my head of answering the question wrong and everyone laughing at me. Flying on airplanes? Oh, forget it. I'd feel paralyzed and suffocated like I couldn't even breathe. Even basic things, like eating at a restaurant, became a challenge. The whole time I would sit there, shaking and sweating, thinking that everyone was judging me. So you see, I know anxiety is real, because I went through it. Oh my gosh. I had no idea all that had happened. Do you think that's why she's feeling this way? It's not always one reason. Sometimes there's no reason at all. We all go through different things at different times. The important part is that you know we are there for you, honey. And we're going to help you get through this. Thanks, Mom. You have no idea what that means to me. Everything that you just said is exactly what I feel every day. I've just been too scared to talk about it. Well, that's probably my fault. I know I haven't been the easiest person to talk to. I feel terrible for the way I've been treating you. I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's hard to understand if you haven't been through it. Um, but you beat it. How can I get through it? Well, my therapist used to say, you can't heal what you don't reveal. So the first step is just to be able to talk about it. You can always talk to me, honey. I promise I'll never judge you again. Thanks, Dad. So you think I should see a therapist then? No, I don't think I need it. <laughs> that decision is up to you. Some people get over it on their own, and others seek professional help. We can't choose for you. That's a decision you need to make. I guess it can't hurt to talk to someone, right? Is that okay? Sure, sweetheart. Whatever you need. Come here. I love you so much. I love you too. <laughs> 
Julia smiles for the first time in a long period after finally opening up about her anxiety. She decides to go see a therapist and completely opens up about everything she's feeling. The therapist offers her lots of advice on how to control her anxiety. Once she gets home, she practices meditating every day for 30 minutes. The meditation helps her control her thoughts and relax her mind. She starts living a healthier lifestyle by getting enough sleep, eating healthy meals, and exercising every single day. By living better, she starts to feel better. She even decides to get out of her comfort zone to practice controlling her anxiety. When she feels the urge to run away, instead, she closes her eyes, controls her breathing, and counts to five. It doesn't always work, but every once in a while, it helps her overcome it. And then, several weeks later, Julia does something that shocks her entire class. Okay, class. Who can solve this problem? Oh, wow. Julia, I have never seen you raise your hand before. Come on up. The answer is B. Yes, that's correct, Julia. Amazing job. Happy birthday to you. Are you sure you want to do this, honey? Um, I'll try. You, know, you don't have to if you don't want to. Actually, I, I don't think I'm ready yet. It's okay. It's a process. You're doing great. Remember, you can always talk to us because... I know. You can't heal what you don't reveal. Exactly. So, do you just want to go home then? Actually, I was thinking maybe we could go out for ice cream instead. Yeah, that sounds great. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Hey, Dara Man fam, please remember that we're not just telling stories, we're changing lives. And when you share my content, you're helping to change lives too. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video.